Hey, what's up guys? David here, your Android Junkie, over at AndroidSpin.com, bringing another app of the week. And I got a good one for you guys, especially for you widget heads out there, fellow widget heads. I'm a widget head, love widgets. I can't get enough sometimes, and there was a pro I had a problem. I really did. I had like six screens full of widgets, okay? But now, I have just one screen right here. This is the only screen I have on my phone. And how I was able to accomplish this one screen, as well as satisfying my widget addiction, are these little icons right here. Now these look like just normal icons, but they are far from normal. Let's go ahead and click this guy right here. Boom. Pop-up widget. So now I can scroll through and see an RS feed for technology. Oh, if I want to go on uh, and transfer some files from my phone to my computer with AirDroid, hit that. There we go. There's the widget right there. YouTube takes a little longer. It's got to load up the, uh, the little thumbnails. There we go. And there we have it. Now when I found this app, I was a little skeptical because I was like, I don't know. I like having my four or five, six screens of widgets where I just, you know, swipe back and forth and blah, blah, blah. But as soon as I tried it out, I immediately fell in love. I mean, it's a space saver. I don't have to have all these home screens. I could just have all my pretty little widgets all right here. Like here's, you know, baseball score. Boom. It's so freaking awesome. I'll show you how to use it right here. Let's go into the app. And I passed it. Merp, 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 merp. Pop-up widget. There we go. All right. And here's a list of all the widgets I have already pre-made. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click down here where it says create new pop-up widget. All right. And then we've got some options here. Gives you the option of which widget you want. And let's see. Let's uh, say the analog clock. Okay. So uh, you can also change it too. If you didn't mean to choose that one, you just hit that and it'll go right back to it. You know, so simple as that. Um, you got the title. If you want to change, you know, the title, you can do that. Background, you can set the background. Um, you can have a solid color, color, internal skin, or you can get some more skins from the uh, Play Store. Um, auto close, this is uh, cool. I always like to uncheck this because um, when that widget pops up and then you say you click on something like in your Twitter feed or whatnot, it'll just close the widget and I really was hating that. Then I realized, oh, I can just uncheck it right here. <laughs> okay, I like that. So they'll stay, the widget will actually stay on the screen so when you go back to it, you don't have to reopen it. Um, pop up, see, uh, this is kind of cool right here. It gives you the option to uh, which direction you want it to pop up to. I like it screen center, that's what I have. So it just pops up right into the center of the screen. Perfect, I can read, I can scroll through a scrollable widget, it's pretty nice. Um, we got the speed um, of the pop-up, so you can change it. You can have it come real fast, a little slower, a little more fluid. And then, of course, we got the effect right here. Uh, it starts out, it defaults to bounce, which I didn't like. It kind of just, I don't know, I didn't really like it too much. And then you got overshoot. I like uh, acceleration, deceleration. That's what I have. It kind of just, you know, it's pretty cool. And then right here, this is where you can adjust it to uh, your screen settings. So let's see if I can here. There we go. See? Eh. Try to look through the whatchamacallit and do it. But yeah, you can adjust it. And I guess it's not really letting me. But yeah, you can adjust the size of the widget that you want. And then as soon as you're done, you hit the back button. And there it's right there on your list. Uh, but you can have the option to uh, trash it if you don't want the widget anymore. Or if you want to edit, you can hit the little wrench right there and edit it. Other than that, you just click on it. It asks you, do you want to create a shortcut? Boom. And then we go back. To our home screen which I have the second screen just for that and then once you click it boom there we go there's your widget simple easy to use satisfies my widget needs to the max I absolutely love this app I have so many <laughs> I mean, yeah, even my little calendar it's just it's so awesome I really like it I highly suggest it there is a there is a free version that has ads so if you were to you know, hit your widget, you'll have like an ad appear up here, which is kind of annoying. And uh, um, the full version is only $1.99, a little two bucks, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You can probably open that wallet and pull out those two Washingtons, not too bad. All right, guys, well, that's all I wanted to show you guys for this app of the week, Cop Up Widgets, pretty awesome. Hit that like, thumbs up button. If you like this video, subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. Well, I am David, your Android junkie with AndroidSpin.com, and this has been App of the Week. I thank you for clicking in.